Hi friends, welcome to Book a Day for Little Learners. Today we're going to read Little Polar Bear and the Brave Little Hare. So this is the polar bear and this is the hare. Friends, I hope you enjoy our video and you'll decide to hit the like button as well as, as subscribe to our channel, Book a Day for Little Learners, where we read aloud at least one new book every single day. Friends, this book is called Little Polar Bear and the Brave Little Hare. It's by Hans de Beer. Little Polar Bear and the Brave Little Hare. <laughs> Look, he's pushing hard, isn't he, friends? Lars, the little polar bear, lived at the North Pole. Most of the time, he was all by himself. He liked to sit on the top of the hill He looked out across the ice and snow to the sea. Usually it was very quiet at the North Pole. Only the wind made a noise. But one day Lars heard a loud cry. The sound came from a deep hole. Slowly Lars crept closer. His heart thumped. Friends, what do you think it is? Do you think that's where he's going to find the hare? Oh, look, friends. Look. He leaned forward over the edge. Down below sat a little hare. He was white like Lars. He shivered with fear. Hold on, I'll help you, called Lars. I'll kick down a pile of snow. The little hare climbed up on the snow. He was still scared. Don't be afraid, said Lars. Now everything is better. Lars helped out the little hare, didn't he? He was a good friend. The hare was named Hugo. Lars and Hugo started to play. They played tag, but Hugo was too fast for Lars. Then Lars slid down a steep slope. Hugo didn't dare to do that. You aren't a scaredy cat, laughed Lars. You are a scaredy hare. Then Lars slid down again. He wanted to show Hugo that he was a brave polar bear. Look at them up way up there, friends. See him? He's having a good time, isn't he? It started to snow. Hugo said, when it snows, I have to go home. My parents said so. That is too bad, says, said Lars. I will walk home with you. They walked for a long time. Where are we, asked Hugo. We're almost home, said Lars, but he wasn't quite sure. It was snowing hard. They could not see a thing. Lars said, I know what to do. We must build a pile of snow to protect us from the wind. My father taught me how to do that. So they're creating a buffer. Finally, it stopped snowing. The wind had blown away their pile of snow. Everything looked different. Where are we, cried Hugo. Now we will never find our way home. And Lars said, don't not worry. I've been lost many times. And I always find my way back home. But it is getting dark, said Hugo. Well, then we will look again tomorrow, said Lars. We will make another pile of snow. And when it is light, we will find our way home. Even Lars was scared of the dark without his parents. But he did not say that. A loud clanking noise woke Lars the next morning. What is that? asked Lars. Something rattled through the snow in front of him. Lars looked around. Where was Hugo? Friends, look at that huge machine. See, that's the snow that they were behind. Hugo was hiding in the snow. Come out, you scaredy hare, called Lars. That was only a car driving to the research station. My father often goes there to find something to eat. I know the way home from there. Follow me. See, said Lars proudly, there's the station. Hugo did not like the station. You scaredy hare, said Lars. Let's find something to eat. So he figured it out, didn't he? Hugo said, let's just go home. I'm not hungry, but I am, said Lars. They waited until the car was gone and everything was quiet. Behind the station, they found some leftover vegetables. Lars and Hugo had a picnic on a nearby hill. 
they look like they're having a fun time. I think they're going to want to get home soon though. Laura said, I want to go down there again and take a look around. You can wait here. Lars climbed up on crates to the roof. He saw a hole. It was not a door and it was not a window. It smelled funny. He could hear noises. What was inside? Lars leaned forward and then something happened. You see him, friends? First he started up here. He looked around. Then he decided to go in. I don't think that was a very good idea, friends. Let's see what happens. Hugo waited on the hill. He wanted to go home. What was taking Lars so long? Lars had leaned over too far. He fell down the hole, head first. Luckily, he landed on a soft chair. He was in a dark room. He saw strange blinking lights. He heard peeps and hums. It was very hot. Lars was scared. Now Lars wanted to go home too. Lard, Lars had only one thought, how can I get out of here? He wandered through dark hallways, but all the doors and windows were shut. Outside side, Hugo heard the car coming back. He had to warn Lars. What should he do? How's he going to warn him, friends? What do you think? He can go after him? He could go after him. Lars heard the car too. He saw a man get out. Where should he hide? His heart beat wildly. I have to warn Lars, thought Hugo. So he gathered all his courage and ran to the station, but he was too late. The man was already at the door. Maybe, maybe Hugo can distract him. Hugo climbed up to the roof. He heard noises coming from the hole. Lars is in there, thought Hugo. I must save him. I have to make the man look at me so he won't see Lars. Hugo kicked some snow down the hole. The man looked up. What is happening on the roof, said the man. He went to get a ladder. The man did not see Lars. See, he's kicking the snow down. So he distracted the man, didn't he? The man had left the door open. Lars was free. On the roof, the man was talking to himself. What is a hare doing up here? He wanted to help Hugo get down, but Hugo did not know that. Hugo was very scared. But the man was just trying to help him, right? Now everything happened very fast. Lars called, come down, Hugo, I'm out. Then Hugo ran. He dashed between the man's legs and jumped from the roof into the soft snow. Lars ran too. He bumped into the ladder and knocked it down. Uh-oh, and he knocked it down. How will the man be able to get down, right? The man saw a polar bear running away with the hare. What a funny sight. Hugo was much faster than Lars, but Lars was so scared that he could not stop running. Wait for me, he called to Hugo. He was out of breath. Friends, when you run really hard, do you get out of breath? That's hard work, isn't it? Let's rest, said Hugo. You don't need to be scared now. We are almost home. Lars was embarrassed. You were very brave, said Lars. You saved me. Now you can call me a scaredy bear. Hugo said, I was not brave. I just did what I had to do. I think he was brave, friends. What do you think? Do you think he was brave? He was brave and he helped his friend. After that day, Lars and Hugo were best friends, and Lars had never again called Hugo a scaredy hare. Look at them playing together nicely. Look at how cute that is. He's trying to get out the door. Friends, that was a story about a polar bear and a snow hare, and kind of some adventures they went on after they met each other. Friends, I hope you enjoyed this book, this story that is a winter story about these two animals who found each other and became friends. I would truly appreciate it if you would like the video and subscribe to our channel. We upload a new book every single day on Book a Day for Little Learners 
and most of the stories we read, we do comprehension questions and vocabulary word building. I hope to see you tomorrow, friends. See you then.